Hello YouTube. <clears throat> so, a little under the weather, but it's okay. I just got my plus four swing arm in from Fireman Sand Toys. It's one of their oval tube ones. And I really gotta say, this is some beautiful workmanship. Like, I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be amazing, but damn if it ain't. This thing is so nice. Like, they even, it even came with the rear bolts, a linkage bolt, and a little Dell clamp spacer and hardware for the brake line. This is a very, very nice piece. I am just thoroughly impressed with it. Like even, even this caliper bracket, little holder thing stops it from rotating, right? It's not just, like it's through welded. Like this is, this is a very quality piece. I am, I'm just really excited. And I'm very, very happy with my purchase. I hope that all of you guys can uh, get something as nice as this. It's not overly heavy. Um, that round carrier, though, is heavier than I thought it would be, but that's besides the point. This is just a very quality, very quality piece. And I gotta say thank you very much to Farm and Sand Toys for delivering a product that is just, well, there's no compromises. This is a U.S. made, non-sellout part. And I am very happy with it. It did take, I guess it took about five weeks to get it. So that is, that is something, but it is not, I mean, you're ordering a custom part, so they're going to get to it when they can, right? That's just how it is. But this is a beautiful, all the gusting in here. This is, this is legit. <laughs> I really like it. I am very happy with my purchase, if you guys can't tell. But what I did find when I was uh, starting to take this apart is I got a little, uh, little wiggle, which is unfortunate. I'll pull the, uh, Hell, I can do that right now. Pull kind of pin out and... Oh, well, it might help if the damn thing was tight. Have some preload in there. Keep it from rocking, but, you know... Whatever. Hmm. You know... Those spines don't actually look that bad. Here's the axle. I bet if I put just a little bit of a, a little bit of some right stuff in there, and actually preload this nut instead of just <laughs> running it on there and leaving it, I bet it'll actually be fine. Can't believe that was loose. Oh, so now that I've got this thing more apart, you can see why I replaced the swing arm. See that in the head up here. And that whole thing is busted. And you look at the amount of crap they did to the stock arm, and I'm just like, okay, but 
what was it? 500 bucks for the new arm. <clears throat> and I think the stock Banshee Carrier ones are maybe a frick less. I don't remember. It ain't worth it to extend the stock one. Especially when you got those weak points back there. You know, you're making any kind of power and get any kind of actual traction. You're going to have issues. Well, all right. I will... Let you guys go for right now. I got some shit to do. I gotta get this this unit in the solvent tank. Ordered another gear. There's the damn chip tooth on mine. I'd love to be able to press that bushing out. Cause I actually need one of these kicker gears. For my uh, my new straight cut gears, because it didn't come with it. Let's check the fitment. Oh yeah. See if it's good. That's good. Saves me a little bit of a headache. It must fit good if the damn sleeve come off with it. All right, well, that's all I got for today. I'm kind of under the weather, so thank you for watching. Bye.